I would have made one real good for you. I have been looking for an inn to bring down Nara Smith for ages. I wasn't aware that finding joy in cooking for my husband and kids would automatically mean that I just slave away in the kitchen. I don't have a job and I have a whole production team at my house making that happen. To clarify, none of that is true. What's up guys, it's your girl River and I am back again with another video. Um, so we're going to talk about Nara Smith today, okay? And if you do not know who Nara Smith is, she is a uh, published model. Uh, she's a wife, she's a mother, and she also um, is known for her from scratch content on TikTok in which she makes all kinds of various things from scratch, right? So she's made sunscreen, she's made um, you know, cereal for her children, like literal cereal. She's made Coca-Cola from scratch. She's made Dr. Pepper, I believe. She's made so many different things. And, you know, she has garnered over 9.3 million followers on TikTok um, based upon her, again, from scratch content. I was craving Coca-Cola the other day, and since we were out of soda, I decided to make him some today. My husband has a weird obsession with Takis and can't go longer than a week without having them. Cost them in my spice mixture, and then they were done. These Takis are Lucky's favorite snack. He was so excited to try them, and he was so shocked at how much they tasted like the actual thing. And now, uh, recently, Nara Smith has been faced with so much backlash on TikTok from modern women and feminists who are completely upset with the fact that she is a traditional wife at the forefront and allowed to influence the minds of women um, who are around the same age with her or who are younger or older than her. And they just feel as though this type of lifestyle should not be on display. It's really dangerous. I hope those who are more impressionable see Nara Smith as just a brand and don't try to emulate it because it will only end in tears. When it comes to a lot of the modern feminists that I've seen and a lot of the commentary that I've seen regarding what's going on with Nara Smith, it's always um, leading right back to the fact that a lot of feminists hate the idea of tradition right? They do not like the idea of women um, being in specific roles within their households or within relationships. They do not like the idea of a woman in a kitchen or a woman, you know, uh, preparing meals or being submissive to her husband. They do not like any of those things. So the fact that that is exactly what she is all about and the things that she exudes in her content, they want to shut it down. Okay. They are completely upset about it. There was even, you know, somebody who kind of dissects a uh, certain content on TikTok and um, talks about him being a business major and tried to literally demonize all of the things that she is doing because they say that it is detrimental to younger women for them to aspire to be a married woman who wants to cook for her children and cook for her husband because they think that that is harmful. When you read the comments, there are so many young women that have sort of grown graduated in an interesting way from the girl boss era of the legally blonde thinking that that's the main aspiration to now thinking that the main aspiration that they should have in life is to have their Nara Smith life of being more domesticated and being in the home and creating a life for themselves that revolves around motherhood exclusively. And before you throw choice feminism at me and say, well, it's her choice to have kids at a young age and to be a mom, of course it's her choice. I'm simply trying to bring up the real world consequences of young women aspiring to that life, not being informed of the danger of losing their financial independence to a man who may or may not support them in the future. And this is one of the things that I've never understood about quote unquote feminism or, you know, quote unquote women supporting women because what I've, uh, um, you know, obviously seen constantly, frequently, um, you know, within all the content that we do here and the conversations that we have is that they only are women supporting women when you are uh, pushing the narrative that they would like to be pushed, pushed, 
right? So if you are a boss chick, they're like, yes, girl, do your thing. If you are, you know, out here saying that you don't need a man and you can do um, battle by yourself, yes, queen, we got you. Don't get it twisted. I want you, but I don't need you. If you are talking about, you know, my body, my choice, I'm going to sleep with as many men as I want to. They're like, yes, girl, do your thing. You get horny too. Yeah. It's okay if we just want to hook up once in a while and have it just be that. The minute that you speak up and you're saying, oh, yes, I want to be a traditional wife. I want to cook and clean for my husband. I want to, you know, be at home and, and be present with my children and homeschool them. You know, I want to stay at home and make sure that I'm in a space that I am, uh, you know, nurturing my entire household. It's crickets. But you can't make being a wife and a mother the center of your entire being. There's more to life than that. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to talk to you. They try to find ways or try to find, uh, you know, divots in the conversation to bring you down. I have been looking for an end to bring down Nara Smith for ages. They try to bring up things from your past to try to find out things about you because they do not want that conversation to the forefront. They don't want it. Which leads me to believe, again, that they only support the narratives that they want pushed, but they do not support all women to all capacities. There are indeed women who aspire to just be a wife and a mother. And that is A-OK. -okay. There's nothing wrong with that. A woman who says, you know, yes, I, I want to uh, be there for my, my husband and my, um, and my children. I want to make sure that I am there from their intricate, you know, moments. I don't want to miss a step. I don't want to have to put them in daycare. I want to be hands on. There's nothing wrong with that. Is it just me or does anyone else get like crazy looks when people say like, oh, I want to be a stay at home wife or stay at home mom one day? Like, I actually don't really have any serious career goals. Like, I'm working now because I have to, but honestly, I would give it all up to be able to raise a family take care of the home take care of my husband does anyone else get like you know the side eye when you say that because i do what makes it even worse is that they are trying to prove things about this traditional wife that are not even true they're saying it's detrimental to other women because she you know uh what about if her husband is not able to provide for her in the future What's very interesting about all of those things is that she is obviously, again, an influencer and, as I said before, a published model who is making and garnering her own income. She frequently talks about working on her page. The only reason that you don't perceive it as her work aid because the fields that she works in, modeling and social media, are female-dominated fields, considered more feminine, and therefore you don't perceive it as a real job, respectable labor. That's what upsets them even more. <laughs> That makes them even more mad because not only are you a traditional wife, not only are you a mother, but you also have a job and you still have time to do these things. Now you're making it impossible for everybody else. I saw a video of a lady talking about someone named Nara Smith and she was like, oh, she just takes it too far and like just a bunch of criticisms. Y'all did not know who Nara Smith was. And so the first video I heard about Nara Smith put me in a negative like, I was like, oh, really? She does all that? Basically, the lady who was talking about her was saying she's trying too hard. She's putting forth. Like, it's just crazy how this lady was talking about her. So naturally, I went and looked up Nara Smith. Y'all hate a woman who makes you feel as if you need to be better as a woman. I think there's truth that, you know, there are some women who if you talk to them and they are a wife and or or, um, you know, a mother or both. They, they will tell you, they will look you right in your face and say, I can't stay home. Okay. They don't, they're, they're used to the workforce. They're used to being out and, and, and going to work. They need the space of being able to be around other people. They need to do those things because it just works for them and for their personality. I don't find anything wrong with that. I think that especially in this day and age that we're in now, inflation is real high. You know, women have to work. Majority of, of the women in society have to work. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. However, I also don't believe that there's anything wrong with women who are in spaces who do not have to work, that they decide that they want to take care of their husband and take care of their children. I love that. They feel like that is their mission, that is their purpose, that is what they want to do. And if they are able to do so, no problem. Everything that Nara Smith does in her videos is everything that the patriarchy has taught us to do as women. A lot of people like to sprinkle fear to the younger women that, oh, well, you know, a man could leave you at any point. What are you going to do? 
oh, well, you know, a man could do this. They act as if there's not so many different facets of support that women get if they are a single mother or let alone a single woman. So y'all yeah, mad because I'm a single mother with seven kids. I'm raising them by myself. Yes, I get child support. I get help from the government. I'm going to get all the help I need, baby. Food stamps, $3,000 a month. The only fear mongering that should be talked about is between men. Of if she takes you for all you got, what you going to do? Because there's very little to no support for a man who is single or even a man who is a single father. It's not the same. So even them saying that of how, oh, well, you know, what if he leaves you? What about it? <laughs> okay. Daddy government will step in. Let's just be honest about it. I'm not glamorizing it. I'm not saying I'm just being honest. Again, the truth is that they do not like the fact that Nara is to the forefront. And what made it even worse is that recently Nara Smith and her husband, Lucky Blue Smith, both did um, the GQ couples quiz. And on top of everything, they were hoping that within that interview, they would be able to see like, oh, you see, he treats her like a doormat. Oh, you see, she has to do these things. Oh, you see, you know, she has no voice. She's a submissive wife and she can't even speak up for herself. And in that interview, they saw quite the contrary. I don't know if I use it too much with you, though. Well, how would I know that? It's classic. A lot of things about you are classic. Not only um, is this woman not a mute and not only does she speak up for herself, but she has the admiration and the love from her husband. I would have made one real good for you. I like that. Well, I have lipstick. That's okay. <laughs> that makes it even worse. So not only are you a traditional wife, not only are you submissive to your husband, not only do you, you know, uh, cook for your husband, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, not only do you cook for your children, not only are you nurturing to them, but then you have the audacity to dress up every day and have him admire you. Who do you think you are? <laughs> What's the first thing I cooked for you? Rice pilaf in Turkey. Yep. That's my favorite nickname for you. I have a few. Love mm -hmm. is one. Daddy. No, no. <laughs> They're upset about it. They're upset because they say, um, you know, that she, uh, again, she, she supplies these unrealistic standards that will make regular wives feel inadequate or feel like they're not doing enough or, you know, mothers that have to work and are, are not able to have the time to be able to do these things feel like they're, they're not good enough. My question is, why is there an uproar when a traditional wife is doing these things that she is choosing to do? But again, when there's social media influencers talking about, you know, your body, your choice, you could do this and you can do that. There's not an uproar about those things. Nobody's upset about it. Nobody has anything to say. Nobody talks about how that is infiltrating the minds of younger women in a negative way. If you go and call those influencers out for the things that they're doing, they'll say that you're shaming. They'll somehow turn it around that you're the bad guy. I don't get it. I think there's truth that there are spaces that there's a lot of women who are able to uh, do certain things. And a lot of women do not want certain lights shine on, uh, the, on tradition because they do not want men to start requesting tradition out of them because they don't want to fit into a mold. Nara Smith has a full-time nanny or her kids get an obscene amount of screen time. Those are the only two options. I'm not taking any questions. The truth of the matter is, is that you don't have to, right? You can do whatever it is that you want to do, but should men have the space where if they want to be in agreement with somebody who also wants to fill that traditional role that they should be, um, they should not be able to, or it should be a problem that they are seeking tradition. If they are a traditional man, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. A lot of women want to get to into relationships with men who are quote unquote traditional men who are providers who are doing all of these things for the family, but they just want to sit there with their feet up and twiddle their thumbs. They don't want to provide the tradition that he's looking for, but they want to make sure that he is there on the traditional end of his bargain so that they can get the best benefits. Y'all, this woman made cereal from scratch because her kids wanted it. <sighs> 
when she make grilled cheeses for the kids, she 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 make the bread. And sometimes she got down make the cheese. <laughs> So when I was going down the Nara Smith rabbit hole, there was a lot of women like, mm, it's one thing to cook and clean, but she's doing too much. And that, like, y'all want all of this. Y'all want the male version. Like, y'all want her husband, but y'all don't want to be her. The match. It's the truth. And I'm not talking about, you know, women who are in transactional relationships. That's a whole different conversation. There are women who are with men who want traditional wives and they want him to be a traditional husband, but they don't want to do anything. They want to sit there and just reap the benefits of all the things that he is doing. A lot of the, the, you know, there's so many people who say, oh, well, you know, this is setting women back. And, you know, this is setting women into certain spaces. And, and this is not the 50s. You know, why is she doing these things? This is so, you know, foolish. And I don't know why nobody should be supporting this. And they're saying all these things about a traditional woman. But. I thought the whole point of, you know, women advocating for other women and for the feminist movement originally, it, you know, obviously I must be wrong, but I could have sworn the whole point of that was so that women can have choices. Now we're at the stage with, with modern feminism that it's not about women having choices. It's about women doing only what other women do. Feminism has taken away from the women that want to be at home. Because now, a woman who says, oh, I'm a stay-at-home mom, there's embarrassment. Yeah. They must don't want to say it. They make up things. I run an Amazon store. Like, mm, you live at right, home. Right, you know, yeah, you're, you're yeah, always home. It's not a bad thing. Raising a child is a lot of work. I personally think feminism is destroying femininity. I love Nara. <laughs> okay? From what I see, I don't see her doing nothing wrong. You know, I think that uh, the way in which she does things is super inspirational. Um, and it's something that I think is admirable. The fact that she is juggling so things and so many different things. And a lot of people have speculated that she has like a team and she has all these things. And she has said out of her own mouth that all that stuff is not true. I wasn't aware that finding joy in cooking for my husband and kids would automatically mean that I just slave away in the kitchen. I don't have a job and I have a whole production team at my house making that happen. To clarify, none of that is true. I'm a working mom, juggling all kinds of hats and responsibilities. Okay, she's like, when I'm over here cooking, my husband got the kids. Because he the daddy. Okay, he know what to do. And also, when I don't feel like cooking, he will cook. I'm just doing what I love to do and what I want to do. And, um, you know, she's not harming anybody. I don't think there's anything wrong with what she's doing. Again, I love it. I love um, when women are in traditional roles and are doing certain things for their family. I think that um, other women who are uh, traditional in, in the way that they maneuver can appreciate her content to a different extent because they feel seen. I think most of the time, a, a lot of the conversation is just people hating. And again, people not wanting to be exposed for their lack of the things that they're doing or not wanting other women to start to look at this and say, I want to aspire for this also.